through this video we'll check three main types of clouds okay so first is cirrus cloud we all know as you can check here i'm showing you one picture this is of cirrus cloud these clouds are are formed at higher altitude in between 8 to 12 kilometers higher altitude okay and if you look at it here i'm showing you one picture you can check here okay if you look at it you can check that they are very thin okay these clouds are very thin and they look like feather okay and because they are formed at higher altitude so they are they mainly consist of ice crystals okay they are mainly made up of tiny water droplets and these water droplets are in the form of ice crystals okay so these clouds are formed at higher altitude in between 8 to 12 kilometers they are very thin okay if you see its pattern texture they are very thin okay they look like feather okay because they are formed in higher altitude so naturally the temperature is going to be very low that means these clouds are composed of ice crystals in other words we can say that clouds are made up of tiny water droplets okay so these droplets are in the form of ice crystals now second type you can check these all are the pictures of cirrus clouds okay very thin okay they are very thin or they look like feather okay mainly in the form of tiny water uh, they formed in tiny water droplets or like this okay now we are going to start next type of cloud next type of cloud which we have that is cumulus cloud okay so cumulus clouds are formed just below the cirrus cloud and the height of it where it is formed it is in between uh, that is in between 4 to 7 kilometers so these clouds are formed at a height of 4 to 7 kilometers okay so these are cumulus clouds you can check here okay here i'm showing you one picture you can check in this picture also okay they are fluffy like cotton you can check their texture their pattern okay they are fluffy like a cotton but then they have flat base okay they are fluffy like cotton okay you can check they are fluffy like cotton okay bunch of cotton you can say okay and but their base you base you can check base is nearly flat okay so this is a speciality of the cumulus cloud okay uh, and it looks like that a piece of cotton is floating in the air it looks like that a piece of cotton is floating in the air okay if you look at the if you look at it carefully somehow it looks like a cauliflower okay if you look at it carefully somehow it looks like a cauliflower now these clouds clouds are usually appear in patches you can check it as in patches different patches bunch okay so they appear in patches scattered here and there okay here and there in the sky since this uh, cloud is bigger than cirrus cloud therefore it may or it may not produce rainfall okay so this is our second type of cloud which is cirrus cloud which is a cumulus cloud okay you can check the picture this is of cirrus cloud this is of cumulus cloud bunch look like cauliflower okay it looks like that cotton a bunch of cotton is floating in the air okay it has flat base okay they are found in patches here and there in the sky okay they may or may not produce rainfall when they when these patches stick together in a and when they combine together then it may produce heavy rainfall now third type of cloud which we have that is stratus cloud you can check here i am showing you picture of stratus clouds okay so these are the pictures of stratus clouds the third one is stratus cloud now stratus means existing in layers as you can check it is existing in thin layer it's like a sheet okay so the third one is stratus cloud now uh, stratus means existing in layer that means these clouds are horizontal horizontal layered clouds that covered large portions of the sky you can check they are covering the large portions of the sky okay in thin sheet it it looks like a thin sheet or thin uh, layer okay and which is covering large portions in the sky okay these clouds are also known as low altitude clouds these clouds 
are also known as low altitude clouds uh, as the name is telling us low altitude means they are formed at lower altitudes okay lower altitudes you can say that less than 2 kilometers okay from the ground they found they found in white and gray color as you can check they are found at white and gray color they are form they appear in white and gray color since these clouds found at lower altitude they even come down on the surface in the form of mist and fog okay they are found near the surface of the earth so sometimes they can also come down in the form of you can also see them in the form of mist or fog okay so we can say that stratus clouds are like fog that does not reach the ground as i said that they appear in white and gray color exist in layers exist in layers so what happens is that they do not allow the sunlight to pass through it it making the day look dull and dark so they these clouds because they are like a thin sheet covering all over the sky okay a large portions of the sky so they do not allow sunlight to reach to the ground okay which make the day very look very dull and dark okay so this is all about three types of clouds this is stratus clouds you can check the pic this is cumulus cloud bunch look like cauliflower scattered here and there in the sky this is first type cirrus cloud okay it's it's thin very thin look like a cotton okay this is found in higher altitude below cirrus cloud cumulus cloud and third type lower altitude that is stratus cloud okay so this is all about three main type of clouds and their characteristics